team at Sciences Po and the national delegations. Uh, and then we finally can go to the next level, uh, cleaning data, in order to populate the metadata registry, which is not live on the website. And we have some countries. Uh, as I said about uh, AMI, we will talk a little bit later about the question database uh, pilot. So I'm not going to focus on this. Uh, for work group three, uh, the goal was to develop a set of standardized indicators and uh, methodological uh, protocol. So, as a lot of time was spent to develop the grid of domains and to identify relevant indicators for each sub uh, dimension. Natalia will talk more about this immediately after I finish with uh, this presentation, but I like if I can make to emphasize that one challenge for this group was the lack of volunteers. Am I right or not? So. <laughs> and I think she will remind you about this in order to be able to complete the tasks <coughs> assumed by this work group. Uh, and uh, in January 2020, uh, we'll, uh, guidelines for producing the grid for, of integration indicators that are needed to extract variables and generate the EMM uh, question data bank was produced. We have a first draft of this guideline. So thank you very much. We are making progress. Um, work group four. We had uh, in November the training school organized in Budapest hosted by Vera Messing and uh, Aniko Bernat. Thank you very much. We had, it was November 2019. We had 24 trainees uh, coming from 14 different countries. Uh, that took part to attend its six training sessions uh, for two days. Uh, the feedback was in general positive, so people like uh, the main topic of this training school was Roma population and how to deal with uh, survey research with uh, uh, different minorities. And uh, so people appreciated this. There were, uh, the candidates, applicants, were actually interested in uh, research on uh, Roma. Um, so some comments, I generally like that the topics of Roma and migrant data and methods were combined in, uh, and in some presentation compared. So learn a lot of new ideas and approaches regarding, especially on Roma minority online survey design. But there, of course, uh, we never managed to make everybody everybody happy, so there are also some comments or suggestions um, where people are asking for more methodological sessions or more focused on skill practical content. The challenge in this case remains because this is, in November it was decided to go to a little bit different format of the training school based on the suggestion from the training school in uh, Bucharest, where the problem was people with different backgrounds were complaining that the sessions were either too advanced when it was the, on methodological or hands-on training. So this is a challenge that we have to deal for the next training school, how to address it, so to give more practical sessions and at the same time to consider the uh, background of the people, or we can include, for instance, in the application some restriction to clarify that you need to have some particular knowledge or expertise before attending this training school, or to organize parallel sessions was a suggestion, like for beginners and more advanced people. So the World Group 3 is already advanced with the preparations for the next training school. Four, sorry. That uh, Natalia didn't know that she is also <laughs> doing the training school. No, sorry, I, by mistake I said work group three instead of uh, work uh, group four, so it's wrong there. Um, it's preparing the training school for the next financial year, which will be in Madrid, which will be organized by uh, Cost Action, Universitat Autonoma de Madrid, and Casa de Velasquez, and local organizers will be. Marie Malé and uh, Santiago Perez Nievas. We hope that uh, everything will be fine uh, we, and we can have this uh, training school according to the plan and that by then all these uh, health issues 
world uh, fell down somehow. So we can travel again uh, with no fear. So the focus of uh, this train school, so the dates, the, we have the location, we have the dates, 7 to and 8 September 2020. Um, the main focus will be this time on cross-culture and cross-national research. Um, the, the idea was this time to have four trainers for two days rather than six and more in-depth uh, sessions. Um, we have already the uh, first draft of the call for application which we plan to circulate uh, by the end of this month and to be open for one month for uh, submitting applications. Uh, other activity of work group four, four is still three. Sorry about that. It's to, okay. So it's four. Um, the, we have only one uh, IPC grant, the only one actually in the life of uh, this action, uh, target inclusiveness target countries uh, grant to go to conferences. Uh, but we had for this financial year 15 approved uh, research state grants, nine are already completed, four are in progress. Most of the STSMs were carried at Science Po because, as I said, uh, uh, people were able to help with the quality control of the metadata templates uh, were favored, so all the researchers were involved in uh, helping uh, our action to advance with uh, the assumed goals. So also we have um, for this year two STCM in uh, Madrid at the Center for Human and Social Sciences and we have one at the University of Oxford. Let's see now. Yes, I jumped over the four before, so it's fine. <laughs> Work group for responsible for communications and disseminations. As you know, we have uh, social media. We are active on Twitter and Facebook. We, what happened uh, in these last months is to have the first newslet newsletter of the of the action, which went um, out in December 2019. It was coordinated by Romana Kareja here and Angela Papa Russo. Um, let's see. And I think by now we have like somewhere like 9,100 subscribers. If I'm not wrong, I check us at 90 or 100 oh, subscribers. Okay. Sorry, I just took 9,100. I'm sure. Sure. Yes, sure. <laughs> 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 All the friends, who is that? somebody is interested in this. Um, I will also remind you, if you do not find yourself on the website, and if you remember that you give your agreement that your name and email address can be posted, please let me know. Um, so it might be that some people join the action later than we submitted all the data to Young Minds and um, I still had to add some people even if they gave the consent. Um, what is uh, 
some events, the okay. publications. I want to remind you that if you want to have your own publications advertised on our website, you can send me an email and the title, and I can add it here. Uh, we, uh, for the library, is basically the members only uh, space, and uh, we have, will. We wanted to have three levels of access, uh, four levels of access for this uh, um, part of the website. After all, we only have three. One, it will be for the uh, all post uh, action members. Where we get the password. So this is work in progress in the sense that I'm populating the this space with uh, documents. So. It will look like a table, basically, but you have a filtering system where you can look if you, if you check for meanings or if you uh, look for applications. Um, different reports. So with those, this was the, the version. I know there are a lot of uh, rubrics there, but uh, this was the final solution that we could find together uh, with uh, Young Mike, so we can also search. For the moment, just ignore the date because this needs to be updated, like for the date of the, but it, as I said, this is work in progress, and uh, uh, the members of the action will have access on this space to, to documents created uh, by the action. As I said, agendas, minutes, reports, uh, other publications, so we're trying to have everything in uh, one place. Uh, the, as I said, there will be uh, another uh, category of users, mainly the members of the leadership teams that can upload documents. So, and they will have access to the WordPress, Or a simplified version where basically, uh, okay, I'm trying it's a different keyboard, sorry. After I got used to the French uh, keyboard. Um, where they can upload the document and then assign categories to the to that respective document. Test researcher, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay, So, basically, uh, under the media section, a document can be added, just add new. So here you can see also the documents that are saved uh, on the uh, on uh, the website uh, space. And then you will have the list of documents where you can edit or you can add a new document to the title and link it to the document that exists on the media uh, on the library or media library. Um, I will make a short, for those who will have access, this type of access, uh, I will prepare a short guideline, already have one from uh, Young Minds, but with the steps that they have to follow when they want to upload documents and to assign categories to the documents that they assign. And uh, the other level is the administrator level, so people who have access to uh, create new pages on the website, new categories, and uh, other types of uh, content. So, questions and comments. Thank you very much.